Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, today is still in the winter time, y'all. We ain't even, I don't even think we through the winter yet. Halfway through. But today I'm going to be sharing my old school chicken noodle soup. Very simple soup. It's actually a soup that is not a stew. It's a big difference. You'll see when I'm through with it. Very flavorful. I'm going to be up flavors in this thing. Very hearty. And uh, you can pretty much do it any way you want. You can add or subtract anything you want in this soup. And I'll explain along the way. Before I get started, please uh, share, subscribe, and comment on my video. And please use the hashtag, 2021 hashtag, uh, help somebody old school soul food. That's, two, that's hashtag 2021. So let's get started here. Very simple. When I make my chicken soup, y'all. I love using chicken thighs. I think that's the most flavorful part of the chicken is the thighs. So I'm gonna season this up here. And I took the thighs and I actually cut them in half. So I got five thighs here cut in half, which is gonna be 10 pieces. I think it eats better when the thighs are kinda cut in half. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season them on both sides here. Like I said, you can use chicken breast chicken legs. You can use all of them if you like. Like I said, I like the chicken thighs. So we're going to turn them over here. Y'all know the three seasons I use majority of the time. My cabinets. Like I said, I'm building flavors here, y'all. Building flavors. Got my shake, Uncle Ski shake, old school shake here. I use a sweet and spice here. We got to really, really season liberally. And I use granulated garlic, and that's it. It's really, 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 really seasoned good. That's the key. You want a good season stock there for your chicken. Because there's no roux in this. There's nothing, nothing like this. Just regular old chicken, good old chicken stock. Let me clean up here, y'all. Y'all know I hate working in a in a messy area move this top over okay let's make sure y'all can see what I'm doing here okay I got my pot heating up here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sear this chicken off put a nice good sear on it caramelization on the chicken here that's the first part like I said I'm gonna be a flavor I'm not just going to throw everything in the pot and boil it. No. I'm going to actually build a nice, good flavor to this soup. And, uh, before we, uh, get it all completely. So it's a good soup, y'all. I created about, it's been about 18, maybe 20 years ago. I was feeling sick one day and I didn't want to, you know, when you got that blah, blah feeling. I wanted something to make me feel better, and this happened what I had in, in my house at the time. So I came up and created this. So this is what I come with. You can use any vegetable you like. You can use any kind of noodle you like. You can also use rice in this if you like. So it's all up to you. Like I tell y'all, every recipe, people ask, well, why I get this or why I find this? You don't have to make it exactly like I do mine. You don't have to do that at all. You just use what you got on hand, and I just give you the cameras, and you create the art yourself. So I'm going to let this sear off. I'll be back in about five minutes when I get all the chicken seared off, and we'll go to the next step. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay. I got this seared off. See how nice this chicken is seared off? I got a nice sear on that. I'm going to tell you in a second why I seared it off. You see that nice dripping in here, y'all? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull some of this off. Not the butt. I'm going to pull some of this oil off of here. The chicken drippings. Like half of it off of here. All right. Put that back on there. Okay, now. I'm gonna put some onions in here. I'm gonna one in here. I'm reading up putting the onions and celery now. I wanna get all them nice dripping. That's flavor. And garlic. I 
to have some garlic in there. I'm going to work all the nice drippings off the bottom of this pan here. So that's flavor. Get them all incorporated in this soup. Try to get as much of that off there as I can. See them nice drippings? That's flavor. That's all flavor. That's what we're doing. We're building flavors here, y'all. Building flavors here. All that flavor going to be in the chicken soup. Another reason I seared it off, y'all, instead of just putting the chicken in there and boiling it, it's going to make a clearer, make the soup a lot clearer than not cloudy. Sometimes when you just boil the chicken, throw all the vegetables in there and boil it, you got a cloudy uh, vegetable soup. So, it's going to be a nice, clear broth soup. See how all the flavors is in there? Look at that. That's all flavors, y'all. All flavors there. Got all that scraped off the bottom of that pot. You can smell that garlic and onions. And that's it. Now, what I'm gonna do now, now you can add chicken stock with I'm not gonna add chicken stock. I'm gonna use water and add my chicken base. It's the same thing. Fill up about halfway here. A spoon here for my base. Like I say, we're building flavors here, y'all. It's gonna be the base for our chicken soup right here. One more here. Okay. Like I said, I'm using chicken base. I don't have any more chicken stock right now. So I'm going to put about a couple of tablespoons of my chicken base in here. Move it around. The chicken base is really salty, so you have to be really careful when you're using this stuff. I've been using it for years, so I kind of, you know, I can kind of eye it. I know when it's too much and when it's not enough. Work that in there. And I got two more items to put in here after this chicken. I'm going to put the chicken back in here in just a second after I get this seasoned. I want to get this seasoned just like I want it. Pretty much close. And then I'm going to uh, put my chicken back in here. Let me get my tasting spoon here. Taste it here. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in here too. Let me get my salt and pepper. Y'all know I use kosher salt. Kosher salt and uh, white pepper. Oh yeah. Taste it again here. Give it another taste. Oh man, that's good. Oh yeah. Nice strong chicken flavor. Now, let me put my stuff away here. Okay, now. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to put the chicken back in here now. And I'm going to let this chicken, now you can take the skin off of this. I love the skin of the chicken. You can take it off if you want to. Some people don't like the skin of the chicken. I love it. Some of my favorite part of the chicken is the skin. So, it's all up to you, y'all. Put that back in there. Put that nice. It's all flavor. Put all that flavor back in there. Stir that back up in there. Now we're gonna let this simmer about, about 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna come back, we're gonna add our vegetables to this. The reason I'm not gonna add my vegetables now, because I don't want my vegetables to overcook and turn to mush. So I'm not gonna put the vegetables right here in there now. And I use, I'm use i using frozen vegetables to let y'all know. You can use out of the can, you can use fresh. 
But I'm using the frozen blanched vegetables right here. That's why I'm not putting them in right now because they're already cooked. So that's another reason I'm not putting. And I got frozen, I always keep frozen vegetables in the freezer. I got carrots, green peas, corn, and green beans. That's gonna be my vegetable for my soup. And my noodles, I'm gonna use my egg noodles here. I got egg noodles. I'm gonna put that in. That's gonna be my noodle. I think that makes the best soup is egg noodles. So, anyway, we're gonna let this simmer. We're gonna bring this back up to a simmer. I'm gonna cover it up. Be back in about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna add the rest of our stuff. Now add a little bit more stock to it, and we'll be through with this soup. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, our chicken is pretty much done. Look at this base, chicken soup base. This is what I was talking about. See how rich that base is? Nice and clear, not cloudy. Now, we're going to add our noodles to this. I'm going to add my egg noodles to this. Get it cooking in here. And this is going to be amazing because all this egg noodles going to soak up all that liquid of the chicken. We're gonna get these egg noodles, and the last thing we're gonna do, y'all, is uh, is uh, add my uh, vegetables. It's gonna take about about ten minutes to cook the egg noodles. I like this because they cook so evenly inside with the chicken. Oh wow, this is awesome! So what I'm gonna do? Get them all mixed up in there. Cover this back up. About 10 minutes. We come back. The egg noodles be ready. All we have to do is add the vegetables. With the vegetables already done, the vegetables can just cook right in there for like five minutes until they get hot. And that's it. And we're going to come back and have us a big bowl of, uh, of uh, chicken noodle soup with vegetables. So vegetable chicken noodle soup. I don't know how you would call it. I just call it chicken noodle soup. It's good for what else? If you got a cold, maybe you're laying around with the flu, COVID symptoms or something. I ain't gonna say it's a cure for COVID because it's not, but it can probably help you if you got minor symptoms like uh, sore throat or congestion or something like that. But anyway, I will be back when we add the vegetables and we have a big old bowl of uh, chicken noodle soup. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay. We're going to add our vegetables to this. See how the noodles are coming along nicely? Now, I'm going to add my vegetables to this. Last thing I add. I, this thing, I don't want my vegetables mushy. Like in a stew. That's what you want right there. See how pretty that is? Just want the vegetables to come up to temperature. I'm going to let this come back up to a boil. Once it come back up to a boil, We'll have a big old pot of chicken noodle soup. And like I say, this pot will feed 10, 12 people, y'all. What I actually do, give y'all a secret. What I'm going to do with this and what I actually do a lot. I take this and I freeze it in the, you know, little plastic bowls with the tops. And I place it in my freezer. And whenever I want a bowl of chicken noodle soup, I just pull out a thing. And usually the bowls that I put it in, it's enough for like two servings. And I had a friend of mine one time was sick and asked that I had anything healthy or uh and I said, Yeah, I have some soup in the freezer and he come over here and got it. And uh it did him well. And this is completely healthy, y'all. Only thing maybe the fat from the chicken, which is not I don't think is a hurt you, but everything in here is completely healthy. There's no roux in here, there's no butter in here. It's a little oil, you know, when I saute the vegetables. Other than that, you can use chicken breast to make it even more of a healthiness and use less salt. If I'm making this for my mom, I wouldn't have put as much salt because she can't have as much salt intake as uh, other people. But other than that, y'all, this is a pretty much healthy, healthy dish. Okay, let me get my bowl here ready. And uh, let, them, let them vegetables come up to temperature here. Look at that. Nice and hearty vegetable soup, y'all. 
chicken noodle soup. I keep saying vegetable soup. And I don't have no tomatoes in this. But I think tomatoes just take away from it and it just ruins that nice clear broth. Look how uh, really flavorful broth they flavor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this come up to temperature, y'all. And when I come back, I'm going to have some in the bowl. And we're going to taste it. So I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay. And I can usually eat this with crackers. But you can see how, look how uh, flavorful this stock is, y'all. Mmm. I'm telling y'all, there's nothing fattening in this. Nice, healthy soup. The noodles. I like to use the egg noodles because it gives it a nice context. Mm. Of course, they perfectly cook chicken. Like I say, I'm making a mess here. The chicken, uh, like I said, you can use, uh, you can take the skin off. I love the skin, y'all. Sorry. I love the skin of the chicken. But you can omit that. If you don't like the skin of the chicken. Some people don't. Mm. But the broth, y'all. That's the key. When you're eating chicken noodle soup. That is the key. The vegetable, of course, is perfectly cooked because it's frozen. What I like about frozen vegetables, you can put them in last minute. They have a nice color. There's no salt in them like canned vegetables. Mm. This is so good. On a cold winter's night, this, you can use cornbread. But I like getting me some saltine or some Ritz cracker. Bowl of this. Yeah. That's all you need. You can do it without chicken if you want to. Just want a vegetable noodle soup. You can do it. Mm. So good. Without the chicken. So anyway, please share this recipe. Please comment. Please subscribe to my channel. A little red button there on your right. Uh, please follow my other social media accounts: Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch TV, uh, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And don't forget the hashtag 2021 hashtag. Hashtag help somebody old school soul food. Until next time. Have a blessed old school soul food day. Love y'all. See y'all next video.